guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a dollar store bath bomb review or test. So this is the first bath bomb, it's called Very Very Pink, and on the packaging it's supposed to smell like wild berry, and I have to say it does really smell like berries and it smells pretty good. Then the second bath bomb that we are going to be trying out is a tropical soap bath bomb. This one is supposed to smell like coconut eucalyptus, and honestly it kind of just smells like um like mostly coconut or like it smells really fresh and it smells pretty good um and then the next bath bomb that we are going to be trying out is a i believe in magic bath bomb obviously it's shaped like a unicorn and it's supposed to smell like vanilla sprinkle and it honestly um smelled like cupcakes kind of um but it was still, like, it still smelled good. And then the last bath bomb we are going to be trying out is the So Emojin... Emojinal? I'm not really sure how to say it. Um, but this one is supposed to smell like jasmine, and honestly it smelled really good. The first bath bomb that we are going to be trying out is the Very Very Pink Bath Bomb. The one that I was most curious about was this one, because I was wondering if the color showed up in the water because this actually has pink glitter in it too so I was wondering if the pink color actually like turned the water pink or it just like was clear or something um but yeah so we are now going to drop it in as you can see in the video when I first dropped it in it didn't really do much but after we let it go for a while it started bubbling up and the water started to turn pink and when my sister picked it up she kept rubbing it for some reason and um, no the dye didn't dye her hands and it didn't dye our tub either um, it left a little bit of residue but it wasn't that hard to get off and even when I tried the Lush bath bomb it did the same exact thing so I wasn't surprised it did that so my overall rating for this bath bomb would probably have to be a 6 out of 10. It did have decent pigmentation, it smelled really good, and it was really easy to clean up. So anyways, let's go on to the next bath bomb. The second bath bomb that we are going to be trying out is the Tropical Soap Bath Bomb. And the thing that I was most curious about was the color pigmentation in the water. Um, I wasn't sure if the water was actually going to turn blue or not, or also there's sparkles in it, so I wasn't sure if those would contribute to the color or just make it all sparkly. When I put the bath bomb in the water, the color pigmentation was not really good at all. It honestly just turned the water a slight blue color but honestly when we spread it around all in the water it kind of disappeared and then the purple ish like pink glitter that was inside of the bath bomb just stayed in clumps and floated around the tub so overall i would rate this bath bomb a 5 out of 10. the color pigmentation wasn't like amazing but it did turn the color like it did change the water color which i was surprised of and um and i really like the smell of it and yeah so let's go on to the next bath bomb the third bath bomb that we are going to be trying out is the i believe in magic one and the thing that i was most curious about for this one is the color pigmentation because it did have pink and blue splotches in the unicorn and I was also wondering if it, the water was going to turn shimmery going along with the unicorn theme. So when I put in the bath bomb, it just bubbled up and it didn't really turn any certain color. Um, after a while, the water was just white and frothy, but it didn't really give a defined color in the water. 
My overall rating for this bath bomb would probably have to be a 7 out of 10. I really liked the white bubbles and it didn't obviously have too much pigmentation but it was just really cool and I really liked the smell of it. It smelled really good and when I put that in the water I could really smell it too which I really liked. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and let's go on to the next one. The fourth and final bath bomb that we are going to try out is the So Emotional bath bomb, the one that's a heart eye emoji. But the thing that I was most curious about this one is what color it would turn. I wasn't sure if it would turn yellow or red from the soap eyes, um, but when I put it in, it did not put much color out at all. It honestly just stayed like a clear like or like really light pale yellow um so I wasn't that impressed I did like all of the bubbles that it created but overall it wasn't that good so my overall rating for this bath bomb would probably be a 4 out of 10 because I did like the bubbles and I did enjoy the smell of it but I did not like the color payout because it didn't have any Thanks so much guys for watching this video, I really enjoyed filming it and if you would like to see another video like this, please comment down below or give this video a thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you in the next video and happy holidays, thanks for watching, bye.